Hi everyone, Miss Nelson here. You've probably seen this written on some of your assignments and I'm sure some of you have wondered what is this and why is it important? Well, I'm here to tell you that reading is more than just decoding the words on the page. It is important to think critically about what you were reading. And by taking the time to think about these three things that I'm about to show you, you will become an expert reader. The first thing you need to ask yourself as an expert reader is, what is the author's purpose of this piece? The author's purpose is the reason an author wrote something. We always have a purpose when we write, and so do authors of the books that we read. There are five purposes that we have studied. Let's review them. Persuade. Persuade means to convince the reader to do something, believe something, or agree. Here are some examples of persuasive texts. Inform. Inform is when true, factual information is given about a topic. Here are some examples of informative texts. Entertain. Entertain is when writing the author has written a story for the reader's enjoyment. Here are some examples of entertaining texts. Explain. An author explains directions on how to do something or the steps in a process. Here are some examples. And finally, describe. The author describes something in great detail about a topic. Sensory words are used. Here are some examples of descriptive texts. Remember, oftentimes poetry is written with a descriptive purpose. The second thing you need to ask yourself as an expert reader is what is the genre of this piece of writing? Nonfiction. Nonfiction means these are real books that tell, inform, teach, and explain. Look for text features and graphic features. Once we know that a text is nonfiction, we can really get into the text structure. Remember text structure? Is the author comparing and contrasting? describing a sequence of events, given a main idea in details, showing cause and effect, or introducing a problem and solution. The other genre to consider is fiction. Fiction are stories that have been made up. They are made up characters and made up events. Once you've determined if a story is fiction, we can look at the six important elements of a story. Characters, setting, plot, problem, solution, and theme. The third and final thing to consider as a skillful reader is what is the point of view of this piece of writing? Who is telling this story and does it help me understand the author's purpose? Let's look at some examples. Something very painful was going on in Harry's mind. As Hagrid's story came to a close, he saw again the blinding flash of green light more clearly than he had ever re remembered it before. And he remembered something else. 
for the first time in his life a high, cold, cruel laugh. Hagrid was watching him sadly. Did you notice the clues? If you guessed third person, you are correct. Let's look at another example. There is darkness everywhere. A small amount of light is radiating from the half moon floating in the sky overhead. There are no stars. It is cold and humid. You look around and you find your friends gone. You are completely alone. Did you notice the clues? If you guessed that this is written in second person, you are correct. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Did you notice the clue words? If you said this is written in first person, you are correct. To become an expert reader, I want you to always think about what you read. I want you to stop and think about the author's purpose, the genre, and the point of view. And as always, reread if you can. That's all for now. Thanks for listening.